measure shoulder external rotation, active, more of a functional active range of motion screen, and then passive external rotation. So we'll do aptly's to screen, again, functionally flexion and extra rotation of the shoulder. So you're gonna reach your fingers down your back as far as you can go. So we can measure right. Uh, we can use the scapula. Typically the superior border of the scapula is gonna be about T1. Spine is about T3. Inferior angle is roughly T7. So we can estimate about what segmental level we are for the right side. And then you're gonna do the same for the left. So a nice quick active uh, composite multi-plane uh, active screen which you know incorporates external rotation of the shoulder uh, let's have you lay supine now we can measure that passively as well so we'll put this towel roll we'll bring the shoulder up to 90 degrees uh, substitutions of the scapula are always a, a concern for these uh, glenohumeral range of motion measurements not as much for external rotation one of the common substitutions would be posterior tilting of the scapula. The nice thing about the supine position is the table helps to limit or block that substitution. I can still place my hand on the anterior part of the humeral head and scapula to make sure that we're not getting any proximal substitution. I can spring against the barrier. I can estimate of about 105 degrees while maintaining that position. I can take my measurement. So the reference is going to be parallel with the line of gravity and the indicator is parallel with the forearm. I also want to mention the zero position for this measurement. Zero position is going to be the forearm is vertical or parallel with the line of gravity.